Well, it happens to all of us from time to time. You've got a smell in your house and you just can't figure out what it is or even where it's coming from. So how do you get rid of these smells? News Channel 5's Jennifer Krause is here to fill us in. Good morning, Jen. Good morning. You know, there are a lot of things in your house, especially in your kitchen, that can cause those really weird smells. Your refrigerator, the trash can, and even elsewhere in your house, the laundry room, the bathroom. But no matter where these smells are in your house, there are some easy ways to find them and get rid of them. Melissa Werger likes her front-loading washing machine, but she doesn't love the maintenance. It's a constant, constant, constant fight to keep it from getting gross and smelly. Do you really have to wash out a washing machine? Excess detergent and fabric softener can build up in your washer and become a smelly haven for mold and mildew. So always measure your detergent and fabric softener. And when the wash cycle is finished, remove your damp clothing right away. Wipe down the door gasket and leave the door open if there are no small children around so the machine can dry out. Your kitchen can harbor some strange odors. When Consumer Reports asked dishwasher owners whether they clean their machine's filter, most people said they weren't even aware there was a filter. A dirty filter not only smells bad, but the dishwasher cannot clean as effectively. Cleaning it, though, is easy. Twist out the filter, gently wash it under running water and replace it. Then sponge out the corners and floor of the machine, and your dishwasher is ready for another load. Now onto the fridge. Spills can leak into the bins and crevices in the shelves. Remove them and soak them in warm, soapy water. Use a solution of a tablespoon of bleach and a gallon of water to wipe down and sanitize the inside of the fridge. Another source of mysterious smells, the garbage disposal. To freshen the drain pipe, layer in six ice cubes, a tablespoon of baking soda, three lemon slices, a teaspoon of bleach, and six more ice cubes. Then grind it, rinse, and enjoy the non-aroma. And don't forget, whenever you are running your garbage disposal, you want to have the water running as well. Like that. That will not only help preserve your garbage disposal, but it will help it keep it will help keep it getting gunked up in the first place. Back to you.